Sir, your voice is audible. Yes, sir, you are audible. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, a very good morning to everyone. I welcome you all in this interactive session with, uh, you know, two of the recently uh, selected IFS officer, right? So, this in this session we will talk mostly about. Uh, preparing geology as well as forestry in a very short span, right? That is uh, after civil services means and forest services means, right? So, like uh, today we have two very special, you know, student of ours, and now IFS officer. Uh, like firstly, we have the very famous Apur Dixit. Uh, everybody who is preparing these days for IFS must be knowing about Apu, right? Whether by his geology notes or his, you know, uh, active uh, mentoring in Telegram and other forum, right? So, like Apur uh, was also our student in uh, comprehensive course in 2020-2021, uh, and he scored one of the highest last year in geology, right? 200 and uh, around 266. And Apur is also a lead mentor in forestry crash course, right? So he has shared all his wisdom and his methods in the crash course. So, uh, like these are some of the details of the crash course, which we will, uh, you know, discuss a uh, also, right? And also we have. Today, Shivam Mishra. Shivam scored All India rank 15 this year in IFS. And you know the most peculiar thing about Shivam was he managed to do this in just 50 days, right? So I remember uh, Shiv uh, Shiv Shivam calling me around 27th of September last year, uh, right? And then he uh, enrolled in the course and he started his preparation from around 1st of October. And in November 25th, I think there was means for IFS. And in this time frame, he has secured this rank, right? So, just brief introduction about Shivam is that he also belongs to uh, Lucknow. He is a graduate in uh, chemical engineering from IIT Delhi. I think a dual degree, the integrated masters from chemical engineering. Before uh, preparing civil services, he Shivam has worked in EXL services and also in OO as business manager, right? And Shivam has geology and forestry in IFS, and he had PSIR in civil services, right? So he pre started preparation after civil means itself. So just uh, before you know, uh, giving it to Shivam and uh, Apur, just I will I want to show this mark sheet. So like he in just 50 days of time, he has uh, managed around you know two uh, very very handsome 235 marks in geology and above 200 in forestry. Right? Last year forestry was overall a bit low scoring, but he has scored good marks in each and every paper, including you know GK and English also, and you know uh, above average very good marks in even even in interviews. So and all this in. 55 days of intense and disciplined preparation, right? So this was, you know, this was a uh, calendar prepared by Lawrence sir for crash course student. So like this is how we covered <coughs> geology and crash course, right? So you can see uh, almost a single day is devoted to almost every unit, and we try to cover geology and uh, right. So uh, welcome to both of you. And I forgot to you know introduce myself. I am Mayank. I am co-founder and mentor at Planet Geology. I have with me Lawrence Kanan sir. He is also a co-founder and mentor at Planet Geology, right? So I think uh, we can, you know, uh, start off. So, uh, like Shivam, can you first share your timeline? Like uh, I just said, a uh, rough, rough timeline. So, what was your timeline of starting the preparation, revision, and all those things? Can you summarize it once? Sure, sir. So, um, as Mang sir has already mentioned, around twenty seventh. Uh, of October, uh, sorry, 27th of September, I think. Uh, after the civil service means have ended, uh, I tried and contact my answer. And uh, so the main reason behind going uh, towards the mentor is that since we have very less time in forest service preparation, and as we all know in civil service preparation and forest service preparation as well, a large amount of time that we waste is in collecting materials to read. Material collection takes priority over everything else for a very long period of time. And since when you have very short duration, like we have in forest service means of 50, 55 days, waste any time in collecting materials from different sources. I've tried to contact different sources, understand what would be the material needed. I've been told about the books like Manikandan and etc. to read from those. But reading from the books and reading from different sources is actually takes a lot of time and energy in the initial uh, few days. So in order to avoid that, I tried to contact my answer. 
got to know about both uh, the geology as well as forestry crash course. Uh, geology crash course was taken by uh, Lawrence sir and Mayank sir together, and uh, the forestry crash course was taken by Apoor sir. So what initial decision I took is that I will only focus on the material, the notes, the lectures that will be provided by the crash course. Since I have very less amount of time, I will not uh, wander here and there to waste my time in knowing what better sources can be used, what extra can be done in a limited time frame. And we all know that this is uh, the forest service preparation is actually a preparation of very intense duration, a small time frame, but very intense duration. So I tried to focus everything based on the cr crash course only, the notes that were provided by the crash course. Although I did make my own notes from the lectures as well. Uh, we'll come to that later. And so my time frame was that initially I started with geology. And uh, so there are two ways of preparing uh, both the optional together. Some people prefer to prepare geology first, then give entire one week or two week to forestry. Uh, what I did was I actually prepared both of them together. I split my uh, daily study time in um, 70% to geology and 30% to forestry. The reason behind giving 30% time to forestry is that because since forestry, the syllabus is lesser as compared to other optionals. That is why it is more, uh, more openly chosen as a second optional, very frequently chosen as a second optional. I think 90% of students would have forestry as their second optional. So a spread of 70-30% time uh, in geology and forestry. And uh, initially for, let's say, 20 days or 30 days, whatever the time frame, geology optional uh, classes were conducted by Lawrence sir. I focused on geology and uh, side by side preparing uh, forestry from Apoop sir's uh, videos. After that, uh, once you have done with both of these geology and forestry classes, uh, the notes, uh, one iteration of the whole lecture and uh, the entire course has been done. Now, uh, in the remaining time frame, I would suggest that we have to uh, adjust our timetable in a way that you are able to do three to four revisions, ideally, of both the subjects of geology and forestry. Because see, uh, the thing is, uh, first of all, uh, I would also initially like to mention two things. Uh, we all know that after giving a civil service means, there will be some kind of mental as well as physical fatigue that will be in each and every candidate. And the major problem uh, in my understanding with talking to other people who have cleared as well, was to overcome that physical, especially mental fatigue of giving a civil service means. It's a very elaborate process of seven days, eight days, you'll be giving exam day back to back, back to back. And after that, somebody will tell you that, okay, for next 55 days, again, you have to study very hard, um, again, study uh, with high intensity and give again a lot of exams. So uh, initially you have to make up your mind that you don't have to uh, get uh, negatively affected by that fatigue. You have to keep the intensity on. And second thing is that uh, since it is a civil service, uh, it is a forest service UPSC exam and mains exam, you have to mug up a lot of things in both the optional in forestry as well as geology. There is no escaping of munging up. So in order to mug up the things, uh, have data on your fingertips, have uh, scientific name on your fingertips, especially in forestry, you have to uh, revise it a lot three to four times ideally you have to revise it i personally revised it three times and was able to score decent marks in both the optionals so this is the breakup that i utilized this is the time breakup that i formed uh, during the 50 or 55 odd days that i had for the preparation all right right, right. so that is actually quite motivating right because a lot of students feel it is almost impossible especially those who have not not in the service to prepare in 50 days, right? So like uh, one but to add one thing, I remember in the first call that I had with Mayank sir, this was the only conversation that we had that the course will be there, the material will be there, video will be there for both forestry uh, as well as geology. The only thing that will matter is the amount of time and effort that will be required from my side to put into these courses because uh, mental fatigue is actually and Apoor sir and Mayank sir and Lawrence sir, everybody will agree with me on that, that major problem in the preparation is mental fatigue. And I'm uh, pretty sure that more than 90% of the people would be giving civil service. And after that would be giving forest service. There are very few candidates, although there are candidates who directly give forest service and skip civil service exam. But majority or 90% of the candidates are like that who give first civil service. And in the same stretch, they give the forest service exam. 
तो बीइंग कीपिंग गेटिंग योरसेल्फ मोटिवेटेड रेगुलरली इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड थ्रू क्रैश कोर्स बहुत लॉरेंस सर मैंग सर अपूर सर will keep you motivated throughout the course and that has been the case with me and i have been a beneficiary of this so just pointing that out right so uh, like 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 again just on the same theme that in 50 days you said that one thing is intensity so like apur you, you have also been mentoring a lot of student right uh, apart from the course also so in your opinion in your experience ye 50 din mein to prepare what all you know ingredients are needed one is in, in one we need to maintain the intensity or uh, like can you uh, throw some light on that see firstly as uh, shivam has pointed out zeroing down on material is one of the most important thing what happens is we tend to move here and there uh, in 2019 i had qualified for uh, for a service examination for first 20 days i was haggling over material ki ye bhi pad lete wo bhi pad lete and because of that it took a lot of time already the, the number of days you get to prepare between civils and mains <laughs> civils and forest is pretty less so once you start running after this material that then there will be people coming to you like ye pad lo wo pad lo that is only going to confuse things so the one of the most important things is firstly like just trust one thing trust one source just pick a source and trust it and you know just execute it uh, execute it to the core so that is number one thing i would believe a lot of people go wrong there then second as as shivam has pointed out as mayank sir has also pointed out the intensity is needed it takes a lot of lot of uh, you know uh, motivation to study in those in those 50 days because that is very difficult especially after civil service examination to putting in those hours is not, not easy even physically also your body gets gets tired and that too when you realize that there are two new subjects from doing the, that from the scratch is not not easy at all so knowing that these two can be done that is why having shivam here today is a real can be a real motivator because people are doing this. i have so many of my batchmates who have done this in 50 days so knowing that this these two optional can be done from the scratch in 50 days and scoring a good rank with that it's not just that shivam has just cleared it he has scored a very very good rank as well so knowing that somebody can do it somebody has done it and knowing that there is a clear pathway like you do this material trust this sources and execute it properly it will be done so these two i think are the most important factor that will go into you know getting a good rank right 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 like so now by the story there is one there is one very famous quote which is also known as parkinson's law that work expand to fill the time available for its completion now the vice versa is also true you can you know compress the work and to fit in the available time so i think this is the key if you have this mindset it is very much possible like uh, shivam did it right so uh, shivam uh, one thing is like we can go deeper ki what were your sources like uh, which sources uh, apart, from, apart from the course did you uh, refer to any other sources also especially uh, geology and as well as forestry right like there is banikandan there is bangard and other books so so, uh, so initially i did purchase two books uh, the standard two books banikandan for forestry and bangard for uh, geology however uh, i opened them at very rare occasions because see the thing is the amount of material that has been curated uh, by planet geology by all the mentors of planet geology so i completely so that was an initial decision that i took sir that i'll focus entirely on the material that is provided and uh, be thorough with the material because since initially uh, there is a search for material that let me collect all the material this and that but however if you want to be thorough with any even a single material it is a lot the material is a lot because because the amount of days that we have to prepare are actually very less 50 days uh, fly by like anything you won't even realize that uh, we start preparation and after 3 4 days you suddenly realize that you have to now give means uh, for a service means so there is a lot very small duration of time and in that time duration i personally what i thought was that the material that was provided was more than enough and uh, and so what one more thing is that for geology uh, let's say at the end uh, since the, the telegram group of planet geology that we all are in in the last time we were discussing what material or what part of the syllabus should be given preference or should not be given preference what part of the material can we skip so it actually comes to that that you will have to finally try to 
uh, you know understand and give preference to certain topics certain uh, subjects a certain uh, part of the syllabus so you don't have to go after a lot of materials the material is curated the classes are there uh, the only thing is that you have to be thorough with that and whatever material you are reading be thorough with it repeat repeat revisions are much better then going after a lot of material there are a lot of books uh, i think ls khanna is also one of the books for forestry apart from manikandan uh, which people tend to read uh, and uh, if i remember correctly some uh, part of ls khanna was also provided in the uh, forestry crash course as well so what happens in that when you join a crash course so whatever the relevant parts of different books if a certain other pdf on other period pdf regarding the silvicultural systems was updated as well so the curated material is present whatever the relevant material is uh, you'll be provided so you don't have to waste your own time in going after material here and there so sir in my case i didn't go for any other material geology it was strictly limited to the classes that lawrence sir was taking i made my own notes uh, for geology uh, for forestry what uh, one thing that i did uh, regarding revision is that uh i made my notes very short and crisp notes for paper 2 and the there are four or five pages notes and uh, maybe i'll find it and upload uh, provide it to my sir as well so that if other people can want they can read from it and it is not a reading material so it is just a you say a crammed up version of apur sir's notes but the reason that i prepared those notes was because there is a two or three hour gaps between forestry paper 1 and forestry paper 2 so you have for in those two to three hours instead of wasting time and moving here and there i thought i'll prepare a very short and crisp four five pages notes from apur sir's material and just go through it uh once so that things are fresh in my mind and the reason is that and i would also say if anybody is preparing notes especially for forestry uh, my advice would be don't make forestry notes in the first go because if you'll make forestry notes in the first go and this first hand experience you will end up copying apur sir's notes after Two or three pages, you'll realize that you are entirely copying such note line by line because you'll find everything is important in those notes. So better is that if you try to prepare very short and crisp notes from uh, a poor such note, complete one iteration, revise it once, and after that, if you want to make short notes, maybe in the third iteration, go for short notes because otherwise it there there's a Xerox copy of a poor such note, and same will go with uh, whatever Lawrence sir is teaching. The, since the material is available for more than I think hundred or hundred fifty days, you'll have the online classes, everything. So it won't be a problem. You don't have to make it immediately after re- going through the classes. So, so this is so. In sir, uh, short answer. In my case, the material that I went through was strictly provided by Planet Geology. Once here and there, I did refer to Bangar in some cases and Manikandan in some cases, but very rarely, sir. Right, right. Like you, you mentioned about Telegram group. So actually, Shiva is mentioning about private Telegram group. So in that mentorship also provided, right? So I think that is also very important to have this personalized contact. This year, I think Apur might be a little bit free in the training. So whenever he get time, we will also have a mentorship group for forestry, right? So we'll we are trying for that also. So like just one thing again, I want to ask. Uh, like I just showed, I will show it again. I just showed you uh, this. Time table prepared by Lawrence sir for geology, right? So I'm just also curious as a mentor, if whether it is possible, right? Uh, how much could you follow this one, or yes, see, how much off the your schedule, right? So like on day one we released. Actually, we started a bit early. In September we started general geology, and October one is geomorphology environment. Then we had two days for mineralogy, uh, geochemistry, structural. We have two days again. There were some live classes also. Some pre-recorded, so I just want to know how did you made use of this schedule, right? And you said that you also fit in the Apur's lecture uh, with this uh, schedule, right? So uh, whether you were able to follow it or uh, you know did uh, some more you know time need to be given. So this is also a feedback for us as mentors also uh, for this year. Yes, sir. So, so uh, in that case, sir, uh, what? in general mostly the i think classes were in the morning india time around 10 yes. uh, was the time the, the classes were starting in india time so whenever uh, lawrence used to take any uh, lecture like for example geomorphology lecture or environmental geology lecture so i used to attend the lecture 
point out some of the important topics that sir has mentioned uh, that i found that i need more time on and after the lecture is done uh, uh, i spent some more time on the videos understand them and the look a bit deeply into the topics and it out then and there i used to message in the group or personally message lawrence sir that says this is this that this is the doubt and uh, am i understanding things correctly and very promptly used to reply and clear all the doubts sir after that i used to take a break from geology and get 3 hours uh, non stop time to forestry take a break and once the forestry 3 to 4 hours of forestry is done in a day i again uh, used to jump back to geology and read the lecture understand the lecture or the pdf that are uploaded in the uh, planet geology portal read them thoroughly and in case any doubt still remains i used to again ask lawrence sir so i was very promptly asking questions to lawrence sir and he was replying very promptly to me uh, clearing all the doubts one thing is that there are two uh, uh, paleontology as well as uh, uh, one more topic where there is a lot of things to uh, actually cram up so you don't have much to understand in the stratigraphy as well so initial part of the stratigraphy uh, there is a lot of understanding you have to understand things after that when uh, uh, in stratigraphy m- almost 70% of the part what you have to do is you have to just cram up the things there is no other way around to it and it is important to cram up the things and i have been very uh, i think it has benefited me also very well uh, since we can go there are layers to stratigraphy and people people will uh, go through geology they'll understand what i mean by layer that they can stop at one point but there is also further formations you can also cram them up and write it and if you write it in the exam it will get a good impression so uh, those topics you can just avoid that you can't do it in a same day it's nearly impossible to just do it understand it in a same day you can take 2 3 days and usually i think after the lectures like after the topics like stratigraphy lawrence said you to give a preparation day as well uh, it's part of the schedule that after that there are preparation days and preparation days kind of an off day where there will be no lecture so you can again go through revise all the previous topics as well any doubt is there so this is the way broadly that i used to utilize my time of course there are some days when you won't be able to follow the schedule but you can make it up on the preparation day and so on so forth were there like any differences in subjects so for example was was any subject you found was like almost impossible to cover Uh, no sir i think these two were the most difficult uh, paleontology mm-hmm. and uh, that uh, the stratigraphy part yeah. uh, other than that rest were mostly understanding based mining geology also very little you have to cram you can understand yeah. it and write it off uh, you have to uh, mug up the things and in any upsc option that is a part and parcel of the kind of exam that we are giving but sir i think these two were the only two that will take much more effort with respect to other you can more or less understand and get an understanding in 2 3 4 revision you will yourself uh, be able to remember things yeah. these two will require a little bit extra effort and uh, one like kind of like general opinion that developed after people saw question paper like this year was that it was a difficult question paper compared to what we had been seeing in recent years uh, when you came out of the examination hall was that your your feeling as well sir yes sir it was partially the same feeling because some of the questions uh, and i had discussed this, this in detail with mayank sir uh, that the questions were from the topic that we have studied is just that the phrasing of the question was in a way which was not very common to the previous 2 3 4 years that we used to see where direct questions this time the terminology in the question were asked were bit different from the common terminology that we used in geology and that gave us an impression that uh the question paper was very difficult and came out of nowhere yeah. however sir uh, i was a bit confident because the number of questions that i attempted since uh thanks to your guidance i didn't cherry pick any of the topics that i'll focus on this i'll leave that uh, my preparation was almost holistic so even though i didn't understand some of the questions from let's say sedimentary geology there were some of the questions that i didn't understand i asked my answers from where this question has came and when we discussed i realized oh, it was a very simple question and we have read it in detail mm-hmm. and could have write about it but since i have studied stratigraphy i and other mining etc so i was able to attempt the complete paper so yeah. the reason uh, so i was asking, yeah. 
so the reason i was asking this was because many times like students will panic in between right this year if you look at overall result it is a like successful year for geology and uh the the whole opinion after the exam was like uh is like loot gaye isme matlab it was or like pe- people were not like uh the, the let's say very confident after that so what i want to say is like for example if a uh, students you are appearing next year sometimes it will happen that uh in between one or two exams will go which may not you may, you you may not feel like it was it, it was in an ideal state uh, or like you could not give your best effort in that exam so don't let that affect your preparation let's say maybe you gave one exam and then another day you have another exam okay you have to take it to the finish line okay with your full effort it's like a marathon okay so you you sometimes will feel very tired you it will be very hard for you to drag your feet but you have to get to the finish line uh, give it give your best effort because ultimately you are competing with uh, most of the student, students who are in the same boat as you are okay if you are finding paper difficult the chances others are also finding it difficult okay keep that thing in mind in in exam okay sometimes like in my experience i have seen like when paper is very easy sometimes then you have slight difficulty in getting good result can can happen that that because then everyone can write it your level of preparation will be less uh, like it will show up less okay you, it, it is hard for you to differentiate yourself uh, but even if like uh, you missed some parts okay uh, this year like another example was like um, renal sir himself like who qualified indian administrative services and he it is like a very very simple question for example he he mentioned that in his webinar also that singh boom creton he he was cherry picking in the end which topics to study mm-hmm. and singh boom creton is a very very important topic okay and it is also very basic it's not like something advanced it's not just like it's basic and important but still like uh, he he was able to get a rank so the thing is uh, some hurdles even during the exam might come okay some uh, mishaps may happen but you have to like keep your no. intensity very high up to the end yeah right, right. Yeah. i also want to ask like uh, marks for forestry you have a very good score in la- last year like like lawrence was saying paper might be easy but scoring might be difficult so geology was difficult but score was better forestry was relatively easy but uh, i think even the toppers have not you know got a very uh, very high score in forestry but you have a very good score in paper too which i think one of the reason is the short notes you made out of a post notes right so i think that could definitely be a reason and i have seen this like people scoring 115 forestry uh, one of the reason is the short notes so in paper 1 uh, do, do you suggest ki what else could you have done to improve the marks right maybe there was scope of 20 more marks right so uh, mm-hmm. what do you suggest and even apur can also can add uh, on the strategies of paper 1 right because paper 1 seems to be more difficult in forestry yes sir uh, i would like to mention two things sir first is so that i could have made more diagrams and uh, at that point of time it didn't cross my mind that in every answer we could make diagram some of the answers i just uh, completed the entire answer without diagram because i thought i had enough material to write and fill up the pages uh, in paper 1 so that can be done secondly sir uh, i think in paper 1 most of the subjects are new and we don't prepare much in civil service whereas there are some of the topics in paper 2 that we also prepare in usual uh, civil service preparation like watershed management and these kind of topics are usually prepared in civil service as well so we have material to fill up the pages paper 1 becomes more technical in nature so better understanding better key terms writing more key terms the for- core forestry key terms m- making more diagrams i think would have helped more and i'm sure apur sir will uh, explain it in detail Uh, i would i would rather i'll ask you a question i'll reframe uh, the, uh, this question how would you recommend using this course firstly like how do you recommend like i have i've taught this course i have taught it from my notes only how would you recommend using this did you, did you watch the lecture did you get the printout of my notes how did you approach it like how how did you approach the course uh, sir I, i did both i watched your lectures as well as well as taken print out so the first iteration of the forestry syllabus Or through watching your lectures, 
and uh, my first lecture of, of uh, the silviculture system part and for seed improvement i think lawrence sir took the classes so i watched all the lectures uh, in the first iteration uh, very slowly trying to understand what is being uh, communicated and what is being told uh, the next uh, second third fourth iteration or the revisions were entirely through your notes just highlighting the important points of the notes and uh, going through them again and again and again multiple iterations so this was my approach in using because the important part were also mentioned in the forestry courses uh, going more technical using more technical scientific names etc and that uh, in itself will be easier if you will revise if the students revise them uh, more than once two twice third you'll get a knack of the names you'll uh, the students will anyway get an understanding that what is sal's scientific name what is other tree scientific names and i think writing scientific names making more diagrams being more illustrative in the exam actually um, the last 10 15 marks everybody prepares from the notes and i think your notes 90% of the forestry students will prepare from your notes sir and will write trying to write the content but being more illustrative in the exam could have been in paper one especially uh, it could have been more illustrative so that was my approach both in, uh, videos as well as notes would you recommend uh, supplementing it with anything like with manikrandan or from any other notes or any other sources so personally i don't find uh, that manikrandan will add much to what is already in the notes and the amount of extra information that will be added i don't think there would be good uh, cost benefit analysis with regard to the time the small amount of time that we have uh, personally uh, for me i never uh, consultant manikandan apart from very few topics one or two topics here and there and i believe the, with regard to see um, as apur sir and mayank sir will agree the major portion that we have to understand is the silviculture silviculture system these two are the most important topics in paper 1 and in my understanding and my experience manikandan does not have very good uh, material with regards to both of these uh, especially silviculture system and people can go after ls khanna but as i mentioned earlier ls khanna uh, the relevant portion of ls khanna was already provided in the notes for extra references and uh, of course and also in the planet geology uh, the portal that we have additional resource material is already mentioned so going after manikandan i don't think so as um, any cost benefit and better cost uh, uh, the cost is very high rather going after manikandan so no need calling but you you said you made uh, micro notes out of my notes right especially of paper 2 right yes sir and another question that i get very uh, often and very commonly probably you would also start getting is uh, did you uh, practice uh, any pa test papers or did you write answers sir what i did was uh, in the portal few of your answer copies were uh, updated by my sir i went through these copies in detail once and pointed out the important uh, aspects of your answer that this is the way to start diagram should be there in pair certain answer has to be answered in this manner that manner and these analysis i think everybody should do on their own uh, because everybody has their own um, answer writing style and it is very unique to this student so i just went through your uh, answer copies of both geology and forestry and practice is not required because most of the people will already be giving uh, civil service mean so time management will not be a challenge in the exam because everybody is writing a lot of papers before that so but yeah i would recommend going through the answer copies of students who have already been and of course if somebody gets time and is preparing and has time it is always recommended to write more uh, papers that is always recommended but if you are short of time And you can go through the answer copies and get an understanding of how to write the questions. Like uh, I, I, I have this chat with uh, you know Shivam, a big chat. Like most of the doubts were there, so I was just going through it uh, in the morning. So I saw like last year Cash Course did very well. Like I think there were eighteen to nineteen students from Cash Course. Who who did clear right? Uh, so, uh, but you know, one thing I found very good about uh, Shivam was he was sticking to the schedule in in the most ideal manner in which I would have liked right. So, like I, I also wrote this timeline. He contacted on twenty seventh of September, 
ऑन फिफ्टींथ ऑफ अक्टूबर ही मैसेज मी कि सर मेरा फॉरेस्ट्री एक रीड हो गया है अबूब सर के नोट्स और वीडियो मैंने देख लिया है याद कुछ नहीं है बट समझ लिया मैंने कंसेप्ट दैट इज आइडियल मिड ऑफ नवंबर यू आर डन विथ वन ऑफ दी ऑप्शनल दूसरा चल रहा है एंड इवन एट द मिड ऑफ नवंबर अराउंड फोर्टीन नवंबर ही मैसेज मी कि सर मेरा हो गया है रिविजन दोनों का एक एक दो दो बार अभी भी उतना याद नहीं है बट कैन आई राइट सेम टेस्ट तो आई इवन शेयर कपल ऑफ टेस्ट विथ हिम कि आप अटेम्प्ट कर लो मन कर रहा है तो मे बी यू नो इन फिफ्टी डेज यू कैन नॉट डू एवरी बट इट वॉज अ परफेक्ट टाइम लाइन की कवरिंग द कोर्स यू नो मेकिंग द नोट एंड ही वॉज एट द स्टेज ऑफ राइटिंग द टेस्ट ही कुड नॉट राइट इसने लिखा भी होगा तो आई ही डेंट सेंड इट टू मी बट ही वॉज अ परफेक्ट टाइम सो द इम्पॉर्टेंट इज की भले एग्जाम दस दिन बाद है एंड यू नो इट इज इवन मिड ऑफ नवंबर इफ यू कैन राइट इवन वन और टू टेस्ट इट विल हेल्प यू अलॉट इवन आई थिंक द सेम हैपन विद अपूर अपूर प्रिपेयर फॉर स्लाइटली मोर टाइम अराउंड थ्री मंथ बट just before uh, like i remember last year just before the mains around 10 days before mains he messaged me ki sir test likhna hai and he, he wrote couple of test somehow and i said ki nahi nahi sab badhiya chal raha hai uh, writing bhi achhi hai diagrams aa rahe hain so the point is why keep regarding motivation 50 din is like too it is like a pressure cooker right abhi hone ke baad you may not recall but we as a mentor also realize ki wo 50 din ka time 60 din ka time mains ke pehle इट इज प्रेशर कुकर राइट अलॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट क्रम्बल बहुत लोग तो एग्जाम देने नहीं जाते दे आर वेरी गुड स्टूडेंट लगता है कि यार ये तो रैंक ला सकता है ला सकती है एंड दे डोंट गो टू गिव एग्जाम तो इट इज ऑल्सो यू वन हैव टू बी मेंटली टफ राइट जस्ट कीप डूइंग रिजल्ट का मत सोचो एग्जाम के दस दिन भी बचा है सात दिन भी बचा है इफ समी इज राइटिंग टेस्ट एंड सी ही इज स्कोरिंग टू सेवेंटी एंड यू नो वन इज गेटिंग रैंक फिफ्टीन तो इट शोज की इट इज मोर अबाउट मेंटल स्ट्रेंथ ऑल्सो राइट तो इसी को आगे करें कि आपके हिसाब से learn Uh, you know keep in mind everything at once definitely that's not possible Th- you will start grasping things by second third or fourth reading you will understand most of the things like understanding part would be done but you won't be able to like remember everything in one go so qu- f- quickly finish the videos as quickly as possible just go through I, I, in, even when i i was preparing i used to watch all the videos at two x speed just simply listen complete it once that is done Keep going through notes again and again. So just don't run after perfection. कि पहली reading में ही सब कुछ एकदम perfectly कर लोगे ऐसा नहीं होगा. Watch the videos, go through it very quickly and try to go through make a number of iterations of the same notes again and again. That is that will be more beneficial as compared to you know making that one ta- one topic one chapter perfect. For example, I would say in uh, forestry paper one section is there is this chapter of uh, <clears throat> mangrove and cold desert. that short short 15 30 marks short short is asked and that hardly takes half an hour to one hour not more than that while in, there is a topic silviculture and silviculture system mm-hmm. there is a huge topic huge huge topic and you will get only probably 40 50 marks only questions from that so that doesn't mean that mangroves and silvic uh, mangroves and cold desert is less important so rather than you know r- running after perfection just quickly finishing it up and giving each topic that importance and things will you know fall fall in place <coughs> with several iterations only yes right uh-huh. and actually this the, uh, i keep saying with this all the student that don't go for perfection a <coughs> crash course wale se bolne ki zarurat nahi padti kyunki unke pas time nahi hota but there are you know, in this even in this group there are some people in this uh, meet there are some people who are writing who are sacrificing csc mains and they are just writing forest so that is a very brave decision and i think in today's time period when the problems is getting so You know, uncertain. आपको चांस मिल रहा है फॉरेस्ट मिस लिखने का डेट इट सेल्फ इज अः वेरी वेरी बिग अपॉर्चुनिटी सो आपके लिए भी यह है कि यू शुड नॉट गो गो फॉर द परफेक्शन जस्ट लाइक अपूर वैन यू नो शिवम मैं यू शुड ट्राई टू कम्प्लीट द सिलेबस मग अप अगेन एंड अगेन इट विल सेट इन राइट हैव द बिलीव सो अभी भी जैसे कि आई हैव फ्यू स्टूडेंट लाइक वन ऑफ द शी इज ऑल्सो हियर सो लाइक शी इज डूइंग जियोलॉजी फॉर लास्ट थ्री मंथ एंड देन आउ शी ऑल्सो प्लान टू डू फॉरेस्ट्री फॉर टू मंथ राइट so that is i think uh, it can be avoided you need to have an intense burst of preparation time especially for ifs main right so also uh, if shivam want to add something after that we will open it up for all the people to ask their question so you can ask whatever question you want from both of the officers right 
sir so adding to what coach sir has said uh, actually after the first iteration would be done there was a huge confidence boost that every student will give so if you keep sticking to one chapter and uh, wasting your time on one chapter uh, the better way is to, as apur sir mentioned go through them once the once uh, the entire iteration of forestry is done you will feel a bit relaxed that okay once i have completed it although i need to memorize things but it can be done there is a huge confidence boost after you do the first iteration and after second third iteration you get into the mood that okay now i am ready to face the paper so completing it once in 15 days ideally uh, 15 to 7 20 days in between this time you should at least once complete the entire forestry syllabus and it can be done and uh, videos are explained by apur sir in very simplistic manner i think the most simplistic manner that can be explained he has done it you just have to watch them understand them and uh, go through them once the iteration is complete you will get a confidence boost and things will become easier by every iteration it will become easier and that is how things uh, develop in forestry and geology the more iteration the more you'll get uh, familiar with the questions so i think apur sir has as he has mentioned uh, the way to utilize is first complete the entire video and then revise keep on revising the forestry maps another question i'll ask uh, shivam uh, once i saw your score in G- gk and english as well you have a f- fairly good score in gk and english as well can you briefly elaborate on your strategy for gk and english uh yes sir sir for uh, gk i did not actually prepare anything uh, because uh, most of us have already prepared current affairs and almost all of the topics that are present in uh, civil service preparation however one thing i would like to mention is that in uh, general knowledge paper you have to write a bit more in forest service because uh, the number of questions are bit more uh, two or three question extra you have to write in uh, forest service exam although i think the number of pages that you need to fill are same but the number of questions are more so you have to be uh, a bit better in time management and my approach was to fill all the uh answer sheet completely fill in from start to end and do not leave anything unanswered whatever you know just write it systematically so general knowledge will i think won't be a challenge i would but recommend people to uh give some time to english because i've seen the variation in marks in english uh is very huge there is almost 40 to 50 marks difference in number of marks of some of my friends who did not qualify they got around 120 125 marks also in english and i have seen people scoring 170 also in english so 50 marks gap would be directly responsible for selection whether you are in the list or out of the list so focus on english as well do need uh, some time to english as well but do not over stress on uh, gk and english so you have to uh, you know take a middle path you don't have to neglect them neglecting them will cost you but do not Uh, overdo these topics you can uh, get a understanding of uh, whether i'm good in english or not everybody knows uh, you can go through the paper and if there are certain kind of things certain kind of topics that you need suppose you have not written a official letter or don't don't remember how to just go through the format try to write it once that will be enough uh, but do not ignore uh, english and gk because these are also equal marks so whether you get good marks in forestry or geology or gk or english it does not matter the com- the combined marks matter so be sure uh, to all the candidates that you also focus on uh, gk and english especially on english because i think the variation in marks in english is very high apur you are you are inside on english and gk any add, add, addition to what apur said uh, shivam said i think you are muted so sorry uh, so in gk i particularly uh, mentioned it to the candidates that firstly if you go section wise as uh, shivam rightly mentioned i think uh, there are 25 questions asked and there are two pages for each so roughly number of pages comes to uh, come to the same but because there are more number of questions you have to that extra time to think uh, because you need that time to think also no so that's why that that finishing paper becomes challenging uh, one thing in history i i uh, generally one candidate that there are question asked from ancient and medieval as well so generally people ignore it for gs uh, in in gs1 but do it for forestry because there are two to three questions if you and just do it from the same sources that you use for prelims uh, for uh, 
most of the other parts are normal in science and tech don't run after that that very niche question asked in one year that there are every year in science and tech there are questions asked that you know that are not very obvious questions or they are that that are not generally asked don't run after that question because running after those questions na it will take waste i did that mistake i tried to devote a lot of time to science and tech but but when that paper came if there are there is question that can be answered by everybody you will be able to answer that answer that and if there is question that is you know out of the box and not generally asked and not very obvious no no nobody in the exam hall will be able to answer it so why bother you know going after that question so just save that time in science and tech other than that the uh, civil services preparation whatever you have done that will suffice for english i have given a very details write up on telegram i will share it in the group once again very detailed topic by topic as to how what time to do how much time to devote uh, to each part one uh, a bit that i'm uh, very much inf- i emphasize it on uh, very much is that grammatical section is totally in your control see essay letters these are not under your control you can write a good essay on one day same essay can be evaluated by two different evaluators giving you two different marks but G- gk in the gr- grammar portion that is where you can score out of 50 you can if you work hard you can score over 45 so my total focus throughout the preparation was getting that 50 on 15 in grammar i don't think i would have gotten 15 in grammar but i would have definitely scored more than 45 in that section so that section is under your control so i have mentioned a very detailed strategy as to what to what exactly to do from where and i have i'll share this right up on telegram uh, group also ki exactly kya cheez kahan se karni and even along with the material that i used to uh, prepare i use a lot of free youtube resources to uh, to do uh, to do the specific parts i think planet geology have also added a module uh, on uh, it is free of cost for everyone for supportive content on english so it also have you know some youtube like uh, i think it was also added to shivam's uh, mm-hmm. portal so you can it is also a good one to start off especially what is the format of letter writing you know uh, all those things so it is a good point to start off and then you can build what like uh, apu said so okay so i think uh, ashwarya we can take up some questions right ashwarya has raised her hand ashwarya you do you want to ask something ashwarya uh, you can unmute yourself and you can ask the question or anyone else uh, is um, want to ask any question they can ask please Yes, Bharat, you can ask. Hello, sir. Yes, hello, Bharat. Uh, am I audible? Are uh, you audible? आपका आवाज़ थोड़ा सा voice थोड़ा कम आ रहा है, right? The voice is little bit low. Ah, uh, sir, I want to ask. Uh, should we choose geology as an option for the uh, soil surface exam? Hello. Yes, yes. Geo- uh, yeah, geology is, a, I think, a very good option in civil services exam. Uh, <clears throat> like you can also ping me on Telegram, right? Personally, I I can share some, you know, uh, data with you how geology is doing. But in general, it is doing very good. This year, somebody scored around three hundred marks in geology and civil services also, right? In fo- forest services, somebody scored two eighty, around two eighty uh, out of four hundred. In civils also, somebody scored around three hundred out of five hundred. so geology is doing uh, good and uh, it has its own advantages you can ping me on telegram i can you know share some videos and some data with you then you can decide if you have any specific uh, question you can ask okay sir okay sir i will do this thank you okay vivek good morning sir sir i want to ask that there are two programs of planet geology for uh, Uh, one is crash course and other is comprehensive sir if i am focusing solely on ifos what should which program should i join now okay i think see we have two student apur joined comprehensive course and shivam joined crash course so actually both when uh, one apur got all in rank 11 shivam got all in rank 15 so both course are actually good enough they can serve the purpose but generally if you have time if you are dedicated only to ifs and you are devoting 3 months or more then uh, we suggest that you go with comprehensive course it gives more you know uh, more uh, cushion to you and to your preparation and if you are preparing like shivam did just in 50 days then 
crash course is the option because you it, it will be difficult to cover comprehensive course in 50 days along with another optional right so if you are uh, reading now also now even now you can go for comprehensive course if you have time and you are uh, ready to put in effort right you can see a video of apur on youtube also regarding this he has shared his insights on that right and you can add it here if you want okay, see, i see uh, there's a there's this video of uh, of me uh, in which i have discussed the timeline in which i did uh, my geology preparation i joined comprehensive course again as mayank said mentioned if you have time i would recommend going through the comprehensive course later on if you are falling short you always have that question of going for a crash course but go for comprehensive course as of now there is a timeline that i have shared it uh, in on my telegram channel and i think mayank mayank sir has also shared it on planet geology channel as well wherein i have mentioned what the timeline i followed so if you can follow that timeline that yeah, i just i did geology comprehensive course in like 40 45 days so even you can do it so you if you want if you have time i would suggest going for a comprehensive course i have also Thank added you. added the link to that uh, video on the chat box right i think krishna is asking something he is asking that uh, like krishna he is also a classroom student he is having the trouble that he is whenever he is reading igneous and metamorphic uh, he feel very confident right but when he is uh, reading other chapters he feel like he is forgetting the chapters which he have read behind right that is aage part piche sa part kind of a thing he is facing so can you to give him in some some help on how you can deal with it right so uh, this is a very common thing i think that happens to all of us when we first try to read it once a chapter is done we think we remember things but when we go to the next chapter the same notes that we have prepared we see and uh, we are surprised that what is all this that we have read and makes no sense and this happens but in my understanding after second and third revision things get to make a per permanent place in your mind and you start remembering all the things and i think this is the only problem with the first and second iteration that we don't remember anything of the previous chapters and this is very common and it happens it happened to me and uh, i'm pretty sure happened to the school every student that understand uh, that goes through the preparation this happens so and nothing to be worried about sir i think and after more the the solution is very simple more revision more revision to remember more So yes, Krishna. Like you revise more. You have done two revision. Do like Shivam said. Do four revision. And uh, after two revision, you are uh, you know good to go to uh, make short notes, right? Maybe make you know just uh, keyword oriented notes if you have time. Uh, I think you are also focused only on uh, IFS. So you make short notes. It will uh, fall in, right? It is common. Don't uh, worry much about it, right? Medha, you want to ask something? Yes, sir. So my question is uh, related to timelines itself. So essentially, I have enrolled for the comprehensive course. I was following this strategy, which is given of the three note system, where when I watch the lectures, I prepare some hand notes, and I hope that once I complete it, then I'll go for the short notes. One thing that I'm struggling with is uh, that it's taking me longer than usual to complete uh, the syllabus. so i in today's discussion i heard that uh, shivam sir also recommended that instead of making proper notes he just used apur sir's notes and made short notes with that so i was i wanted to know if i should switch to that or if i should continue with this and just for context uh, i will be appearing in forest services mains this year that's my only target so just in terms of time management and better coverage what strategy would you recommend uh i think i'll i'll take this question uh if you uh, have you seen the um, the video that i was mentioning some time back that uh, how i did in 40 days because in in i was facing the same issue that uh, because i was trying to make notes of everything and because and yeah, I, i i i hope you have seen my notes so because i was trying to make notes of everything am i audible clearly because I, there's it's rain outside yes so, sir okay so uh, because i was i was trying to make notes out of everything it was taking some time but 
trust me i benefited immensely after i made those notes so because if you are not giving civil services this time and you are appearing directly in forest services i would recommend make making your own notes and if if uh, even if it takes you know let's say 5 days more 10 days more that extra effort would be worth it once you start re- start revising from your own notes but if in case just in case you are you know towards the end you are feeling that you are short on time you can always fall back on my notes but at the outset i would i would suggest to make your own notes got it sir thank you i can also add like i just now, when when you were asking the question i just saw your dashboard and i saw your coverage also right and i am also aware uh, you, like you, i think you are on the third unit right uh, because you just yes, asked sir. some question on crystallography crystallography yesterday yes, so sir. see uh, like uh, apu did it in 40 days some toppers like last year all in rank 2 and even all in rank 6 uh, like uh, sahil and um, you know uh, sahil did it in around 50 days right uh all in rank 6 he did it in even more time so it is all right right uh, that is why i have not uh, pushed you much more. you can take your time the first thing is the first three units general geology geomorphology and crystallography ge- mineralogy they take ma- ma- uh, most time right but aapka okay. pace aapka pace is still a bit slower in my opinion so you just it's all right don't panic you you focus for some more days for mineralogy right मिनरलॉजी खत्म करने के बाद इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली पेस इट अप पेस अप बिकॉज ऑल दो इट इज कोर इग्नियस पेट्रोलॉजी एंड मेटामोर्फिक सेडिमेंट्री बट वो हो जाएगा राइट बट आई वुड सजेस्ट टू यू कि अब आपको हैंग आ चुका है जियोलॉजी का सो व्हाट यू डू इज बिकॉज ऑफ द टाइम कंस्टेंट यू डू कि आप लेक्चर देखो एंड यू यूज अप्रूव के नोट्स इन दी फर्स्ट हाइड्रेशन वॉट शिवम ऑल्सो डिड राइट तो आई थिंक नाउ यू कैन डू दैट राइट यू हैव यूर ओन नोट ऑफ थ्री यूनिट्स अब आप अपूर्व के नोट को यूज कर लो यू कीप यू नो जॉटिंग डाउन समथिंग ऑन दोज इट उसके बाद एक रिवीजन इन्हीं नोट से कर लेना जो आपने लिखा हुआ है और अपूर्व के नोट से एंड देन मे बी इन मिड सेप्टेम्बर के बाद आठ दस दिन बैठ के अपने अपने खुद के नोट्स बना लेना राइट सो दैट माइट ऑल्सो सर इसके लिए यू ट्राई राइट यू ट्राई फॉर इग्नेस पेट्रोलॉजी या इसके बाद जियो केमिस्ट्री है तो वो आप कर लेना इफ यू फाइंड इट हेल्पफुल रिवाइज हो रहा है तो आई थिंक यू इट इज बेटर डेट यू स्टिक टू डेट स्ट्रेटेजी बिकॉज इस तरह इट विल टेक मोर टाइम टू यू जो अभी आप कर रहे हो राइट तो थोड़ा सा यू कैन ट्विक इन कुछ फर्क नहीं होगा सच उसमें राइट बट लर्निंग थोड़ा फास्ट हो जाएगा यस सर सो आई हैव प्रिपेयर्ड अ शेड्यूल आई विल शेयर इट विद यू ऑन टीजी सो प्लीज जस्ट टेक अ लुक एट इट लेट मी नो इफ दैट वर्क्स श्योर थैंक यू सर एश्वर्या डू यू वांट स्टिल वांट टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन I think she was trying the hand raising, uh, you know, features. Anyone else want to ask any question? <coughs> okay, one last question. I I I also want to ask. Ki, uh, especially in forestry uh, as well as geology. Geology, me to yeah, we are now you know kind of giving previous question ke solutions to and. so forestry mein what was your focus on previous year question solution uh, uh, shivam uh, kitna aapne add kiya did you use internet ya course ke baad apur ke notes aur video ke baad it was uh, mostly manageable did you had time to go through pyq uh, sir with respect to uh, geology actually in geology i did make uh, my notes for most of the chapters uh, for some of the chapters i utilized the pool sir's notes for some of the chapters i didn't make any notes directly used to read from the uh, the material that lorenz used to update on the portal so it was kind of a mixture of both uh, however sir uh, one thing is that making own notes in case of geology uh, indeed proved beneficial because revising it is much easier with respect to forestry i find uh, pool sir's notes also very good because i used to revise from that and they are very uh, systematic in nature and revision can be done very easily from apur sir's notes in geology since i was making my own notes i preferred revising from my own notes uh, for most of the part uh, uh, apart from that sir in geology uh, previous year questions did to useful because it uh, in the last 10 days it will be a confidence booster because once you used to see uh, what is the question and you are in your mind able to that i able to answer this question 
it gives you a good boost after so going for uh, previous year questions after two three round of revisions i think one can start to look into the question and uh, but uh, there is a caveat some of the times and as it will be discussed in crash course as well some question will come which will not be you will not see that question anywhere in any notes any part and happens more frequently in geology and less frequently in forestry but it does occur in forestry as well so just don't go after everything that is in the previous year question if a question is asked once in 20 years you don't have to waste your time to make notes about that just ignore it and uh, in my experience as most of the students used to ask lawrence sir will provide material for that you won't uh, read it and if you are reading it in my personal humble opinion you are wasting your time if a question comes once in 15 year once in 20 year you are just wasting your time happens in paleontology part or in the stratigraphy as well so just be smart about your preparation go through the previous year question it will help you a lot but just don't go after each and every question abu you want to add something for forestry am i audible sir yes sir yeah. so in 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 forestry also uh, once you're done once you're done with one chapter take the previous year question paper of that chapter and see if your notes or if the content that we are giving you has covered all the chapters has covered all the questions there might be one or two questions as shiva mentioned in geology same happens in forestry also there are one or two questions that are asked in you know one odd year and it won't be repeated again so you can comfortably either you can you can comfortably go this uh, uh, question or if you are only for extra time then after go after this question uh, this this particular question other than that Just see if you can answer like ninety ninety five percent of the question. If you can, if you are able to answer ninety ninety five percent of the question, you are on right track. And then see you won't generally you won't find time, you know, uh, writing the answers for this. Just brainstorm these questions. So in that way, that will give you a sense of completion of that particular unit also. Once you have gone through the previous question paper of that particular topic, so I would strongly recommend going through the previous question paper because both in geology as well as in forestry. these questions tend to repeat even if the question does not repeat verbatim at least the theme tend to get repeated every year so after every topic once you are done for the sense of completion go through pyq both in geology as well as forestry all right so we can take couple of more question before concluding the session right so i think uh, there is a question on prelims do you want to uh, throw some light on that like uh, i think Sumanth is asking that when we when we should start preparing for prelims for the next year attempt. Uh, in my understanding, that will depend upon what is the number of attempt, which is the attempt that you are giving. If yes, the first attempt, then mm. it takes a lot amount of time mm. till third, fourth uh, attempt. A smaller amount of time can be given, and the nature uh, of prelims that is being uh, changing in the recent few times. i don't know what kind of preparation will make sense <laughs> just being fact uh, because the last year paper this year paper and uh, congratulations to all who has cleared for a service because the paper was tough i have given this year's prelim as well it was very uh, out of the box kind of paper the questions the framing of the question that changed a lot so but i think sir 3 uh, to 4 months of hard intense prelim preparation will suffice and in my understanding uh, apur sir can uh, add more on this no, i think i would agree with what shivan is saying it would it would depend largely on you know how how is it, what is your background like how much have you prepared so far depending some people can do it in last 2 to 3 months but i would recommend this especially in this year papers i think this year paper rewarded those who have you know very comprehensive knowledge and you have re been reading for a long time because no more those elimination tricks uh, no more apply in, uh, in the questions so the more knowledge you have the more you know the more uh, wider is your reading base it will help to clear prelims so i would recommend th that prelim preparation should never stop at least for now because you know it should continue because there are so many questions you know that are asked like they were there in the current affairs for last 4 years and or 5 years just one particular fact even if you remember that that can save you one question or two so i would say this 
prelims preparation cannot stop right now you cannot just depend on last one or two months and clear it i would say go through it throughout the year even if you are devoting slightly lesser time focusing more on mains right now i think that uh, that the time should be devoted throughout the year at least after seeing uh, seeing this year papers like basically i think he is a fresher uh, kind of a person right first or second attempt is sumanth ka so uh, like like the both of them said 3 to 4 months so what i want to tell you is that आप यू कैन टेक एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन आप जनवरी से शुरू कर दो पांच महीने लो बट अभी जो टाइम है ना जैसे कि देर इफ यू वांट टू इट मैंगो यू विल इट इट ओनली इन द समर्स सो इफ यू वांट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर यूपीएससी दिस मंथ्स ऑफ अगस्त टू दिसंबर दे आर फॉर मेंस प्रिपरेशन राइट सो अभी आप मेंस प्रिपेयर करो थोड़ा जनरल स्टडीज वाला मेंस भी प्रिपेयर कर लो इवन इफ यू आर टारगेटिंग फॉर आई आई वुड से कि थोड़ा सा जीएस मेंस फॉर यू भी प्रिपेयर करो इट विल गिव यू ग्रेटर डेप्थ एंड फाउंडेशन फॉर योर जनरल स्टडीज नॉलेज जो आपको प्रिलिस में भी काम आएगा तो अभी मेन स्पेसिफिक ही प्रिपेयर करना चाहिए एटलीस्ट टिल दिसंबर उसके बाद यू कैन जगल बिटवीन योर मेन्स एंड प्रिलिम्स वाला एक वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम इमरान इट इज ए क्वाइट एंड क्वेश्चन की सर अगर ये वन ट्वेंटी आवर्स का क्रैश कोर्स करने से ही टू थर्टी फाइव नंबर आ जाते हैं तो वाई वी शुड डू यू नो कॉम्प्रहेंसिव कोर्स जिसमें एक सौ डेढ़ सौ घंटे और पढ़ना पड़ेगा राइट रेंज <laughs> like be the geology topper you know uh, I, that gives you a great advantage for example i had low score in uh, relatively less score in uh, even if i had score uh, less in other subject it i would have covered with geology only so that addition you know when that addition of 20 like shivam score 235 that addition of 10 marks addition of 20 addition of 40 marks that take that addition of 150 hours that is you are mentioning uh, uh, that comprehensive course gives you that uh, and i would also like to add on that uh, in preparing with crash course or 30 days you have to be in a fire fighting mode and uh, if you have time you think you, you should utilize that time to go for the comprehensive course uh, get things in more detail and in 50 days uh, time there is also a lot of luck factor so for example there is a pia subject of stratigraphy and it will be almost near impossible to uh, cram up everything in stratigraphy so you cherry pick some of the frequent topics right and now it's a matter of luck if that topic uh, from stratigraphy which you have mugged up is coming to the uh, exam or not for me uh, it was a good luck that the part that i mugged up came and i was able to write the entire answer suppose it not have came then that would have cost me 15 20 marks so these you, if you want to eliminate these kind of uh, luck based factors or these kind of uh, additional factor or externalities then you should go for the comprehensive course if you have time and it will definitely and get an increase in marks as well and also like i want to add ki it also depends on the individual jaise ki india mein sabko chai banana aata hai right but sabka chai ka taste ek jaisa nahi hota so he can do it shivam can do it and he could get 150 uh, like 115 uh, rank right but सब लोग के लिए इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इट इज एक्चुअली सुपर ह्यूमन इवन इन डूइंग इट इन थ्री टू फोर मंथ्स टाइम हंड्रेड हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी डेज टाइम इट इज अ सुपर ह्यूमन काइंड ऑफ एन एफर्ट जो ओनली दो कैन अप्रिशिएट जिन्होंने एग्जाम लिखा हुआ है राइट सो दैट इज अ थिंग एंड अनदर थिंग इज कि कुछ भी चीज को डिटेल में प्रिपेयर करने से इट एलिमिनेट्स दी लक फैक्टर राइट सो टू थर्टी फाइव इज ए ट्रिमेंडस स्कोर बट ही कुड गेट रैंक फिफ्टीन बिकॉज ही डि नॉट ही ही उसने इन्होंने कोई भी एक पेपर खराब ही नहीं किया ही गॉट अब एवरेज इन फॉरेस्ट्री very good in geology uh, gk english very good in interview right that is why he could get it jo comprehensive course ke toppers hain like rank 2 uh, sahil right he got 278 jo uh, you know rank 6 hain shobit he got 260 so you know they took leverage uh, around 30 30 35 marks ka right but unhone kahi aur thoda sa kam score aaya which shivam somehow managed right ki kahi bhi unka kam nahi aaya so that is also a thing definitely crash course could uh, serve you aap crash course jaisi preparation kar sakte ho and then you take you got time like uh, uh, 
अपूर्व मेंशन ऑफ श्रीकांत श्रीकांत ने तो सेल्फ स्टडी की थी ही डिड यूज अपूर्व के नोट्स ना प्लैनेट जियोलॉजी के नोट्स बट उन्होंने सेल्फ स्टडी की तो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन इंडिविजुअल आपकी लर्निंग कैसे बेस्ट होती है देर आर सम पीपल जिनको बिल्कुल बेसिक से पढ़ना शुरू अच्छा लगता है एंड देन दे बिल्ड अप राइट बट देन देर आर सम पीपल लाइक शिवम इज कि उसने एकदम से एक अप, ना उसको सीधे मतलब लॉन्च किया फर्स्ट फ्लोर पे एंड ही कुड क्लाइम टू फिफ्थ फ्लोर और जो टॉप फ्लोर है तो इट डिपेंड्स मे बी आप दोनों के डेमो देख सकते हो रेस्ट थिंग इज सी दैमोज डेमो ऑफ जनरल जियोलॉजी ऑफ क्राइच कोर्स इज ऑल्सो देयर कॉम्प्रेसिव कोर्स इज ऑल्सो देयर इफ यू कैन मेक सेंस ऑफ क्राइच कोर्स के डेमो से देन इट इज बेस्ट यू कैन गो विद क्राइच कोर्स अलोन ऑन इफ यू थिंक सेल्फ स्टडी से हो जाएगा नो नीड ऑफ एनी कोर्स यू कैन डू इट विद सेल्फ स्टडी ऑल्सो राइट तो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन यू ऑन यूर लर्निंग एबिलिटीज and sir adding to that i would like to add one more thing uh the the competition in the exam is becoming more and more intense so the amount of right. time that to put in will keep on increasing more number of students are opting for it everybody is giving it very seriously so the if you have time to prepare for more number of hours and it is always without a doubt advisable to prepare for more hours and if you don't have time then you can go for the crash course and crash course will benefit you it has benefited a lot of us uh, previous year a lot of us in the group have cleared the exam and it benefited us tremendously and to the extent that if we haven't joined the crash course we would be like uh, like a headless chicken you know wandering in direction what to read from where to read and it will give you a direction but in my understanding if you have the time comprehensive course will be a lot more beneficial the uh, the amount of 6 40 45 marks that the edge of 40 45 marks in any subject that you can get is a lot uh, and in the total marks 40 marks will directly dip. first of all it will be a factor whether you will be selected or not after that it will be a factor what rank you will get so definitely invest your time uh, properly if you have time go for the course uh, and if you don't go for the crash course but uh, a good guidance in this paper will be very very beneficial to all of you okay so we can take one last question uh, like there is somebody has asked about answer writing so i this is a question to both of you with geology also in forestry if there is some difference so what are you know three four key pointers for ifs means you would suggest in terms of answer writing ki kya extra karna chahiye there is also somebody asking ki color color pen use kar sakte hain kya pencil use kar sakte hain kya so what is your take what are the key ingredients of answer writing uh Sir, uh, two three points uh, regarding pens. You, of course, you can use if time permits. If you are fast enough to write, use anything. But the main focus, uh, from uh, my understanding, should be completing the entire paper. Completing the entire paper, fill as much as uh, answer sheet as you can with the relevant questions. Of course, there will be some question list down ten trees, ten medicinal plants. You can't fill the entire sheet with that. You just have to list out the ten medicinal plants. But ninety percent of the questions. you will have opportunity to fill the entire sheet try to complete the entire paper and uh, whatever you know the core key terms of both geology and forestry try to write them as much as possible but in case you don't know and a question comes in compulsory question and you have to attempt just write from your general understanding but make sure that you complete the entire paper uh, the first priority should be completing the entire paper and this has helped me a lot uh, in getting good marks i've completed each and every question attempted each and every question try to write it as much as i can so that would be my approach in answer writing uh mostly shiva ma'am covered everything i think i would i would just add uh, one more point in in forest means both in geology as well as in forestry there is lot more objectivity in terms of answers like there is not but subjectivity you can't write answer in different ways if you have written the content you'll get marks so that objectivity helps a lot so that is why i feel in in forestry even if you have slightly lesser answer writing practice you can still score very well because if you know the answer you know the answer so if a question asks to write list down 10 medicinal plants it is simply listing down 10 medicinal plants there is nothing more you can add you can start with introduction with the definition and then simply list down there is no confusion to this right so in even in geology the same thing happens a lot of my notes exact same replica answers i i could do it in the final answer also like just same replica of my notes only so that objectivity in the question makes answer writing less important answer writing practice less important compared to civil services mean 
so that's about it i think this objective is be very objective right introduction there will be questions that you know that need not you need not write conclusion in that but again the same format introduction just explaining what the subject of the question is and then giving a list jotting down the points that is good enough to give you good marks in the uh in any final marks thing वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन टू बोथ ऑफ यू विच आई पर्सनली वॉन्ट टू आस्क बेस्ड ऑन माई ओन एक्सपीरियंस की वन आई वॉज प्रिपेयरिंग आई वॉज प्रिपेयरिंग विद यू नो विद अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड हीज इन आई एफ एस नाउ सो नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हिज मार्क्स एंड माई वॉक्स मार्क्स वर इन फॉरेस्ट्री पेपर टू राइट आई गॉट हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन ही गॉट हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फाइव राइट एंड दैट इज वन थिंग दिस इयर ऑल्सो आई हैव सीन अट कॉपी अ मार्कशीट जिसमें फॉरेस्ट्री में समबडी स्कोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी वन I think that is the highest among the selected people. Unki paper one me I think eighty hai, but paper two is like very high. And this has been the case. Or paper two, uh, uh, I, I believe, jo mujhe doubts bhi aate hain in forestry ki is gender in nature. Jaise ki forest legislation hai, forest economics hai, engineering hai, forest right? They are very gender in nature. So uh, uh, you know, Apur is also undergoing a degree in forestry at Indira Gandhi National Forest Academy. So, apke hisab se. Ki, why do you think ki such you know sub such abnormally high scores sometimes occur in paper 2 despite being very generic in nature and how to deal paper 2 right ye mujhe in general bhi abhi doubt the group pe kyunki last year bhi paper 2 was very generic right even shivam will agree ki thoda sa uh, non technical sa paper aata hai right so uh, aapke hisab se paper 2 mein aise karne ke liye aur kya kar sakte what is the uh, ingredient for that sir uh, i think in in paper 2 even if the question is generic in nature you can make it technical for example i believe in paper 2 section a the management part the menstruation part they are fairly technical you can always hmm. add that technical jargon even the even forest engineering part is not uh, not as uh, you know as generic in nature even in in uh, paper 2 section b where the laws and policies are concerned again that question is generally very specific So I think it it really gives advantage to those people who have studied those laws and policy in greater detail, especially those specific sections. At times, like in in my year when I was giving, uh, there were specific sections as of 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 particular laws. So knowing those sections, I think gave that uh, gave that edge. I don't think that people can you know differentiate themselves in those generic questions. But where you can is if the if the uh, if the topic is even slightly technical, adding those those technical terms. Can differentiate your answer from others who have, you know, studied given less time to that subject. So just technicalize your answer, add more, you know, uh, specific terms, add more, uh, you know, uh, that uh, difficult jargon, and that helps a lot. Generic question you really can't help much. I I don't think you can differentiate too much in the generic question. Yes, sir. I think uh, Apur sir has covered uh, the main aspect. You can make them technical. For example, as you have mentioned, forest legislation. Some question comes, and you mention the section uh, of the act. So it will fetch you some additional marks. For example, if a question is about watershed management comes, and you have some certain data to quote, and definitely it will give you better marks than those who have just write a generic answer. Uh, So I think the difference in paper two in marks uh, comes from additional technical terms and key terms that some people prepare and put them their answer and their answer stands out from rest of the answer, which uh, fetch them more marks. All right. So I think even I think Apu might also have to go. So we can conclude the session here, right? So like like last parting words from both of you to all those who are preparing for IFS this year, or uh, right? Uh, some are some will be preparing after civils means some of them are here that are already preparing and foregoing civil services means. So any tips and uh, guidelines for them? Uh, so those who are preparing after civil service, the most important thing is don't let your intensity die down. Um, the intensity with which you are preparing for civil service means uh, just continue that intensity. Fifty days of hard work and good things will happen. Best of luck to everyone. All right. And I would I would say for everybody who has got has played film for uh, IFS, especially this time, this is a great opportunity to get into service. You will be in a very elite service and just make more make use of this opportunity very well. Give your hundred percent. Just three more months of intense hard work, and your life will change. All the best. 
so uh, we can conclude the session here i just want to thank you both again uh, like two very humble and you know very uh, knowledgeable uh, officers so thank you for coming thank you for your time and right uh, if we get more question we'll again maybe uh, contact you or maybe on telegram or on the group so you can help other students also right so thank you apur thank you shivam for coming we can end the session here right